in Christ. My friends, the primary work of our lives is to believe who we are because Christ is in us and we are in him. Remember, when we look at Galatians 5, there's the works of the flesh and the fruit of the spirit. An apple tree doesn't consciously strive to produce apples. As long as it will be placed in an atmosphere that's nourishing and its root goes down and nourishes the the, the tree and the branches, all it needs to do is rest in being what it is and it produces fruit. This is the same for our faith. It's not about us getting worked up, striving for self-improvement. It's about learning how to abide in Christ so in such a deep and meaningful way that the fruit of the Spirit is just manifested in our lives, not because we pursued a 30-day program of how to stop doing the works of the flesh and do the fruit of the Spirit. You don't do fruit. You listen to what Paul says in Galatians, and you keep in step with the Spirit and he will bear fruit in your life. He is the one that will then make your life characteristic of peace, patience, kindness, self-control, etc. lest I missed one and appear incompetent. But that fruit of the Spirit is a result of resting. We work from a place of rest, trusting in Christ's work within us. And unless we allow God to serve us, We cannot serve him with purity. Unless we allow God to first serve us, we cannot serve him with purity. And I know that might sound a little heretical, so I didn't put the text in here, but the reference is here. In John 13, verses 4 through 8, this is at the Last Supper of his disciples. It illustrates this principle. When Jesus washed the disciples' feet, he showed that accepting his service is essential to being part of his work. This is why a fruitful life of ministry comes from a deep life of intimacy with Jesus 